Chelsea. What a road we've been on to get to this day. We've been through so much since we started this relationship. Through it all, our love has persevered. I remembered before we started dating, telling Mark that I thought you'd be a really fun person to date. Boy, fun is a word to describe our relationship and lives these last few years. Who knew a random New Year's Eve party could have turned into this? Six years later and it's been worth the wait. I love that you are goofy, intelligent, and always up for an adventure. Your generosity, patience, and the way you bring calmness to the room are qualities that I admire about you. You teach me to make the best of each day. I am truly a better person just for having the chance to know your heart. I can't wait for the both of us to continue learning and growing as a team. To share this life with you has been an absolute privilege. When I think about us getting married, I don't think about our beautiful life changing. Instead, I think about continuing, continuing what we have built together. When I look at our boys, I see so many of my favorite things about you that shine through them. You are a father and a partner I fall more in love with every single day. I'm thankful for every day with you. Your strength and commitment to me and our family is inspiring. I wake up every day wanting to love you more. From this day forward, these are my vows to you. I promise to love you faithfully more each and every day. I promise to protect you, provide for you and our family. I promise to always have fun with you, and I promise to always be there for you, even in our toughest times. I love you, you are my best friend, and I promise to always put you first. I promise to be willing to grow and to be a better version of myself than the day before. I promise to always be your friendly competition at our gym. And I promise to appreciate and respect you for the person that you are and the person that you are wanting to become. I am so lucky to be standing here today. I love every second we get to spend together and I'm so happy we finally get to complete our family. You are my best friend and the person I look forward to seeing at the end of each day. I love you so much. Chelsea just knows she's one of the most amazing people in the world. Um, she's aggressively nice, like super aggressively nice. <laughs> she takes the time to really get to know you as a person. She asks like deep questions, um, but and remembers and follows up um, and just makes you feel like you're instantly her best friend. And it's just an amazing She's just an amazing human being, um, and I'm just so grateful um, that she is all of those things and that I have gotten to be her friend um, in the last few years. Um, I never knew Chelsea before she met Stephen, so I can't even imagine her without Stephen. Um, he's just the perfect balance for her. You have remained so dedicated to one another, and everybody in this room you know, that's like a running theme that you have never given up on one another you've been through so much um, so quickly um, and we just all really admire you it's just such an honor for us to be here with you and celebrate your family um, and thank you so much for inviting me to be part of your day during that time you know you have a lot of friends come and go throughout your life never know which ones are going to stick, but I always knew Stephen was going to stick. These two, they, they stuck it out, and they, they saw past their own selfish desires. They, they I, I had a lot of conversations with Stephen and, and Chelsea, and, uh, and um, they're like, no, we, you know, this is, you know, we're together, we're in this, um, we're, we're going to just, we're pushing through, and now it's a good time to raise a toast to them um, for all the hard work they put in and uh, for being such awesome people that I'm really proud to call uh, my friends and family and to be Uncle Mantis to their kids. Um, so cheer cheers to you guys. I, I love you guys.
preparation for this, I asked my wife um, some advice, like what advice she would give and why she thought we were doing okay in our marriage, what, you know, what makes a healthy marriage. And she said, well, whenever we come across a problem, whenever there's an obstacle, you know, it's not me versus the problem or her versus the problem or me, my way to solve it or her way to solve it, it's us against the problem. And I thought it would be important to share with you all that. And then, you know, when we spoke on the, you know, about the background, all the things, it seems like y'all are already doing that. So, um, you may not need that advice, you're already living it out. And the words we say to ourselves and to the others around us, they matter. So why don't you just, for each other, I want you to always think, to speak words of hope, love, commitment, joy, trust, and patience. If you speak life, eat those fruits. The immediate following verse in verse 22 says, the one who finds a wife finds what is good, who receives favor from the Lord. So by the, the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.